somebody could be stressing over. It's a young fire sign. It's like spirit's just going to give it to you so that you can move forward however you feel you need to move forward. So a Taurus is coming into the picture first, and then a Sagittarius is going to come two months later. I feel like for a lot of you, it's having to do with an Aries or a Scorpio. You want some type of sign or proof that you are making the right choice or you are making the right decision when it comes to something, or it could be numerous things. Hello, Gemini. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star to Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up as a general read. Say what resonates, leave what doesn't be on. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reason, at least you link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. With all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit, guys, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. God, is in this read for my Geminis. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light so gemini what do we have here we have jupiter in transit sagittarius will of fortune and temperance all upright we have number nine on the side hermit on the side virgo energy mercury getting ready to station direct and then we have you gemini the lovers, the magician, Mercury and transit. Somebody could be a life path number nine. Seven of cups. Hmm. Knight of wands. There's something here that somebody could be stressing over it's a young fire sign you could be stressing over them or they could be stressing over you something here about this connection there's some type of confusion there's a lot going on in your mind i feel here that that does have to do with the power of the moon and the second moon that we now have we have a small moon and asteroid that is now joining our moon and it's going to be there for 50 something days and this will affect us energetically spiritually emotionally so you could be having headaches or it could just be a lot on your mind to put it lightly similar similarly this young fire sign energy this could be an aries some of you it could be a scorpio but something else is here queen of swords ace of swords so what's this queen of swords ace of swords that's y'all hangman the chariot Okay, so Gemini, what I'm saying here is it's almost like it's go time. You're moving forward. You're making a decision here and you're moving forward. But it's almost like you, you're going to be rethinking that decision a lot. Have you made the right decision? Yeah, death and the page of swords. Have you made the right decision here? Is this the right decision for you? That's what I feel. If you haven't made this, this decision, you're about to. I feel like for a lot of you, it's having to do with an Aries or a Scorpio. However, it could be having to do with other things in your life, work, right? Your living arrangements, or it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a family member. But it's almost like a decision is about to be made, or you already made your decision, and you're moving forward. But what I'm getting here is this energy of you could be rethinking, like, is it the right decision? Or that's where you're going to be, like, you're ready to move forward with whatever you decide to do. But then being in this hangman, like, sort of, sort of in this weird twilight zone where you're, like, wondering if it's the right decision. Are you really moving along your path? Death, Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, the Devil. Nine of Pentacles. 
Clarify this Devil Six of Wands. It's almost like you're finding out some type of Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. It's an Aries, Scorpio, or Capricorn here that you've been dealing with or that's been on your mind. But it's like the whole, I feel like the, this is really giving me an energy of conclusion. Like the, it is finally going to be known what happens next it's finally going to be like you're gonna know where you stand for good when it comes to a person place or situation two of wands and temperance but there's a taurus coming into your life as well and a sagittarius this taurus could have children or they could have been married and now they're divorced. This is somebody that's very... This Queen of Pentacles, Taurus energy, this is someone, and it could be a man, it could be a woman, okay? Regardless, this is someone that's like... Like they're going to be on you. They're going to be on your tail. But then you're going to be meeting the Sagittarius within two weeks or two months. So it's almost like going to be three energies here that are competing. Three of Swords, like a... A three-way battle. The two of wands. The queen of pentacles can also be symbolizing. Again, moving on from a career. With the two of wands, temperance, and the three of swords. Moving on from a career, being gifted two career opportunities. It's going to be different for everybody, but I feel like... Wow, you know, Gemini, I have to say, I'm feeling that if you've been feeling up in the air, it's almost like I'm picking up on that energy because I'm feeling up in the air in this read. Hierophant, okay, yes, there is a Taurus here, Nine of Cups, and it's going to be difficult to get them off of your back. So a Taurus is coming into the picture first, and then a Sagittarius is going to come two months later, is what I'm saying here. But... Oh, Gemini, I just feel like there's so much going on in your mind. Eight of Wands, yes, Spirit saying yes. Eight of Wands and Nine of Wands. You see, Gemini, here's the thing. You're picking up on the, the, the residual energies of this planet. You're sensitive to the energy at this time, and it could just have you feeling like you're going crazy or like you feel like in your head. It could have a lot of us, right? You could be a crosswasher. But I just feel here that decisions are going to be made. You're going to call judgment on a person, place, or situation. And then you have a new Taurus here and a new Sagittarius. But the Sagittarius isn't going to come in for another two months. Knight of Cups. Also a young Pisces. Eight of Pentacles. A young Pisces that could be your new co-worker or you could be the new person at work and you're meeting this young Pisces. Eight of Swords. That landed right over this Nine of Pentacles. With the Queen of Wands. So there's a third party karmic that's going to do some type of magic. Or a spell work or, or something. There's a woman here or a man. That plans on sending an attack. Seven of Cups on the side and the King of Cups. This read is all over the place, and so is my mind. Because you're also going to come across a Scorpio. No, Cancer. But there's someone here that's been on your mind, or they've been trying to deal with you for years or months, and like a decision is going to be made about that. But I do see a Taurus, a Sagittarius, a young Pisces, and a Cancer. There's stuff here about work as well. Changes in the workplace. There's going to be a change in upper management for a lot of you in your work setting. Someone's thinking of opening like a boutique or a thrift store. Yeah, somebody here is trying to open up a boutique or a thrift store or 
Could be like a, even like a makeup kiosk at the mall or some type of stand at the mall. Hmm. Or it could be an indoor flea market. Getting something here about a white Tesla Model X. Somebody has a white cat, a white kitten. I'm hearing kitten. I also get that someone has a bunch of chickens in their backyard. Like they have a chicken coop and everything. They have a bunch of chickens. A rooster that has like a tan brown feathers and wings, but then its tail is black in color. Something like that. Someone has a a big rooster that that's like like that's the color tone that's the color scheme i'm saying ace of swords the sun well gemini what can i say in your read within these next two months you're gonna know where you stand with a lot of things in your life whatever questions that have been sneaking up into your mind whatever's in the back of your head Okay, what, whatever you're trying to figure out, like how to move forward with, you're going to, within these next two weeks or these two months, you're going to, you know, you're going to know. The sun is here to illuminate everything. The sun of truth is here with the ace of swords. Okay, you're going to know what you are needing to do next, where you're needing to go next, and how to proceed next. I also got here there's going to be a flight or a trip to somewhere where the sun shines a lot. This could be Vegas for some of you. For others, this could be Florida. Just be careful. Um, you know, if you're going to Florida, be wary, right? Hurricane season. Mm. I just feel like it's a lot that's happening in the energy. I also get that there's like a lot of crown chakra activation and you could just be feeling scattered in your mind. Single life is here and passion so yeah there's a lot of people that are going to be coming to you passionate for you i i have to say gemini your love life i feel that you're not even trying to do all of that you're trying to take your time with things but at the same time it's like a bunch of people see you as the prize sir miss madam so you're gonna have a very hard time but you see isolation now here's what i was getting with birth you could just be wanting to retreat something about the energy that's what i was getting in the beginning like you could have been going through these motions but i don't know gemini it feels like exasperation yeah i heard someone say i didn't sign up for this so you didn't sign up for all the craziness that's going on right now in your life and on this planet. Unfinished. Karmic cycle. Settling scores in this life. And then an eyelash. So someone is definitely going to try to send like a spiritual attack or something. This uh, this karmic energy that I picked up on, this read is all over the place. Angel is here, divinely guided, and the devil. So there's a man or a woman here that has unfinished business with you, and they're going to try to launch an assault to cause delays in your life. But it's almost like an angel is protecting you. It's almost like the devil doesn't want to be finished with you just yet or something. There's something here. Someone's been like through the ringer. Divine timing and answers. Yeah, this. The moral of this read is that you're about to have all the information that you need. For some reason, that's what I'm getting in this read that you. It's almost like you're in your Virgo energy, if I'm being honest. You need the facts before you make a decision or before you make a move. You need the facts, you need the data, you need to see the proof. You need that physical proof, some of you. And then you'll be able to, with the proof, 
that's given to you that the most high is going to reveal to you then you'll be able to feel confident and good about how to move forward how to make a decision when it comes to whatever it is that you're attempting to do here that's what i'm getting here you want the clarity from the most high you want some type of sign or proof that you are making the right choice or you are making the right decision when it comes to something or it could be numerous things you want a, a, an indication here from the ethers from the spiritual realm because you're not trying to go backwards you're not trying to get yourself caught up in something you want to improve your life and naturally so potential is here and snake time of healing shed old skin secret knowledge jealousy and envy potential new business requiring hard work ideas have potential for growth your investment paying off stable business steadily growing you don't want any snakes in your garden you don't want to put yourself in a path where you're exposing yourself to any type of energy like that. And that's what else is coming up here. That whoever is a snake or whoever is shady or weird, they're going to be revealed. It's been a long week. Y'all are tired. I can feel it. It's been a really long week for you guys. Okay, this first week of October, it's been a really long week for y'all. Y'all tired. I can tell. Maybe not all of you, but a good portion of you, you're, you're exhausted. Definitely drink fluids, rest, okay? Give yourself rest. <sighs> Round and around, because we're in here for the long haul. We're in it for the long run. But eventually, whatever information you need to move forward. Yeah, toxicity is here and chaos. The tower. Whatever information you need. It's like spirit's just going to give it to you. So that you can move forward however you feel you need to move forward. So that you can be informed. So that you can make the best decision for you. And for whoever else is involved. Be that your family. Right, uh, your friends. Your community. Okay. It's a group of Geminis here that you're seeking answers, and you will receive those answers within these next two weeks or these next two months. So hang in there, y'all. It's, it's a strong energy. It's strong. But that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care. <laughs>